Welcome to the start of the September tournament from the home of Ozumo, the Ryokoku Kokogi Khan in Tokyo. Haruma Fuji is the only Yokozuna Grand Champion competing. That's because the other three Yokozuna are all out of action due to injury. Hakuho, bothered by a left knee injury, Kiseno Sato, still with a sore left arm and left side of his chest, and Kakuryu with an ankle injury. Still, fans are excited to see live action. We begin with newcomer Asano Yama against Juryo One Man So Kokudai. Asano Yama, a good looking newcomer. His opponent, veteran So Kokudai, has fallen back to Juryo for the first time since July 2015. Big hit by So Kokudai, but Asanoyama stays calm and wins by Yorikiri Force Out. Asanoyama battling nerves on the opening day, but manages to win his first Makuno Uchi match. Here's a replay. Looked like So Kokudai had the better Tachiya initial charge. But Asanoyama is able to slip his right arm inside and use that to force out So Kokudai. Were you nervous? Yes, I was. The atmosphere is totally different from Judio. You still don't have the Ginkgo style top knot. What is your goal in your first Makunouchi tournament? Well, to stay in the Makunouchi. Here are Endo and Okinomi. Endo's left ankle still aches, but he is participating. While Okinomi hasn't been this low, Maigashira 14 in three full years. Okinomi gets a right hand outside grip and immediately uses that to throw down Endo and Watenage overarm throw. Okinomi has struggled in recent tournaments, but uh, fighting angry here on opening day of the September Basho. Here's a good angle of Okinomi. Getting the right hand outside. And then powering down Endo. Up now are Nishikigi and Kaisei. Nishikigi turned 27 last month. While Brazil-born Kaisei is going for his 400th career victory. Kaisei slips his right arm inside on Nishikigi. Nishikigi has Kaisei at the edge, though. And it's Kaisei who manages to use that right arm inside to win by Squinage Beltless Arm Throw. Kaisei's bulk proved to be handy because Nishikigi moves Kaisei back to the edge but is unable to take Kaisei over the edge. Instead, it's Kaisei who wins with a beltless arm throw. Two smaller size Dixie up now, Ishiura and Arawashi. 
Ishiura added two kilograms in the latest weigh-in, but still the lightest at 120 kilograms, while Arawashi, a middle-of-the-pack wrestler. Okay. Hitting and shifting is Ishiura. And he picks up uh, Okuridashi rear push-out win. Arawashi didn't like it, but it is an opening day victory for Ishida. Here he goes, shifting to his left and getting to the rear of Arawashi. Shio Shoma and Ikioi are up next. Ikioi struggling with a sore right elbow. Chiyoshoma has had identical 5 and 10 basho in May and July. Slamming into Ikioi is Chiyoshoma, but Ikioi uses his superior size to push out Chiyoshoma. Oshidashi. That right elbow looks to be in a lot of pain. Still, Ikioi manages to force back Chiyoshoma, who's a much lighter opponent. So Ikioi wins on opening day by Oshidashi. A pair of mid maigashira up next, Chiyo no Kuni and Kagayaki. It's a speedy Dixi. Versus a tall Dixi. Good hit. Coming in low is Chino Kuni, and he drops Kagayaki with that Tsukiyo Toshi thrust down. The frenetic sumo of Chiyono Kuni on display here. Coming in low and slamming into the chest of Kagayaki is Chiyono Kuni. And he follows it up immediately with a thrust down. Up now are Ichinojo and Takakeisho. Takakeisho, the youngest in the division. Ichinojo, the heaviest, 206 kilograms. Takakeisho having a hard time moving back, Ichinojo. Now he's getting some momentum. And Ichinojo steps out. Oshidashi win for the youngster, Takakeisho. That's a push out. Initially, Takakeisho found it hard to move back the 200 kilogram plus of Ichinojo. But eventually, he gets the job done. Shodai and Uda are on the dohyo now. Uda's right knee is bothering him. Still, he's produced fan-pleasing sumo, while Shodai has slumped in 2017. Getting moved back was Uda, but slips to the side. And on his tippy toes, able to drop Shodai by Tottari. That's an armbar throw. 
A wry smile from Uda. He knows he could have easily lost by push out. Instead, he wins by Tottari. Arm bar throw. Coming in low is Uda. But Shodai moves him back at the start. And Uda grabs the arm of Shodai just in time. Typical unorthodox sumo from popular Uda. Here are Tamawashi and Sho Hozang. Both men born in 1984. Tamawashi a komusubi, Sho Hozang maigashira four. Sho Hozang with an inside position. Tamawashi trying to get started with his thrusting attack. Has Sho Hozan at the edge. Sho Hozan, though, gets uh, both arms inside and uses that to pull down Tamawashi. It's a hikiyotoshi hand pull down. Sho Hozan getting hit above the left eye, as you can see, it's immediately swollen. Still, that uh, victory against Tamawashi will make that sore eye not as painful. The key here, Sho Hozan getting both arms inside on Tamawashi. And he's able to pull Tamawashi down. There you see that swollen left eye. Chio Taidu and Yoshikaze. Yoshikaze becomes the fifth oldest Nikshi to regain Sekiwake, while Chio Taidu has added 13 kilograms in the latest weigh in. Big hit by Chio Taidu, and he follows it up nicely. That is Chio Taidu at his best with a Tsukidashi thrust out. Chio Taidu! Fierce sumo today by Chio Taidu. Here's a slow motion look. Big hit, slamming into Yoshikaze. And following it up immediately with a couple of big thrusts. So that extra bulk seems to have helped Chio Taidu's power. Mitake Umi and Onosho on the dohyo now. Mitake Umi has been getting a lot of attention. Onosho, one of several promising youngsters. Coming in low is Onosho, and he slaps down Mitake Yumi. A surprise loss for the Sekiwake Mitake Yumi on day one. Let's look at it again. Ono Sho establishing an inside position, then slaps the back of Mitake Umi. Mitake Umi looked like 
he had a bit too much forward lean and is unable to stay on his feet. That's our first surprise of the tournament. Excellent job by the 21 year old. Here are Tenno Fuji and Hokuto Fuji. Tenno Fuji finds himself Kadoban after being forced to withdraw from the last tournament, so he needs a winning tournament. Hokuto Fuji upset the Ozeki in July. Getting a grip is Hokuto Fuji and then pulling him down, Tenno Fuji. For the second straight tournament, Hokuto Fuji stuns Tenno Fuji. This time by Hikio Toshi, hand pull down. Hokuto Fuji, uh, Oshizu Morikishi. But at the start, goes for a Mwashi grip, abandons that, and is able to pull down the Ozeki Tenno no Fuji. So another upset here on day one. Hokuto Fuji surprises Tenno no Fuji. Up next, another Kadoban Ozeki, Goedo against Maigashira 1, Koto Shogiku. Koto Shogiku, a former Ozeki, drops to the Maigashira ranks for the first time since November 2010. Goedo in danger of losing his Ozeki rank for the sixth time. Hitting and shifting is Koto Shogiku has Goedo in trouble and has Goedo at 0 and 1. A push out Oshidashi by the former Ozeki. Koto Shogiku, you can see him. Slide to his right, or I'm sorry, his left, and then push out Goedo. Sliding to his left while grabbing that left hand outside grip, and he uses that to take Goedo over the edge. Goedo in trouble on day one. Here's the third Ozeki Takayasu against Tochino Shin. With three Yokozuna out of action, this might be Takayasu's big chance to pick up his first Yusho. It's his second basho as an Ozeki. Tochinoshin has quietly moved up to Maigashira 1. Both men coming in quickly at the Tachiyat. Takayasu. Denying Tochinoshin his favorite grip, then getting an inside position. Impressive sumo by the Ozeki. An Oshidashi victory for Takayasu. That's a push out. Oh, yes! Looking much sharper on day one day than he did in his Ozeki debut in July. 
寄り切って高安の勝ち。Both men coming in hard. And you can see Tochi Noshin wants to get his favorite grip, the left hand outside, but Takayasu won't let him. Good combination of speed and power by Takayasu. That brings us to the final match on Shonichi, day one. It's Yokozuna Haruma Fuji against Komusubi Tochi Ozan. Haruma Fuji says he feels a bit anxious being the only Yokozuna competing. Tochi Ozan has lost 10 straight matches to Haruma Fuji. Haruma Fuji hasn't had a U show since July of last year. Coming in low, getting a grip is Haruma Fuji with that left hand outside. Kochi Ozan trying to break that grip, but Haruma Fuji with a smooth Uwate Nage overarm throw. So all business on day one is Haruma Fuji. Haruma Fuji getting the left hand outside grip. And not letting Tochi Ozan wiggle away. Hanuma Fuji known for his speed, and uh, he certainly, that was certainly on display on day one. So that wraps things up as we begin the September tournament. Be sure to join us for the next two weeks. Here at the home of Sumo, the Ryogoku Kokugikan.